What's up, Internet? My name is Nerdy. And I'm Claro. And this is Bahu Bali The Beginning mm -hmm. Part 2. Yeah, we split it up because the video was getting a little bit long. There's a lot yeah. in here. So this is our introduction to Part 2 of Part 1, uh, which <laughs> it's is... It's not Part 1. It is Bahu Bali. It's got a different name, right? Uh, sure, sure, sure. It's Bahu Bali The Beginning and Bahu Bali The Conclusion, which Fair will enough. come the second Saturday of February. February. Sorry, you're gonna have to wait a few weeks for that, but you don't have to wait for this video because you're already watching it. If you want the full length reaction to this video, you gotta go over to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly because mm -hmm. that's where we do that. If you missed part one, quick recap, Bahu uh, was uh, ran down a mountain by his grandma where she died, he was passed off to a tribe. And he, he climbed back up a mountain. Climbed up the waterfall. <laughs> Fell in love with a girl. Uh, she got hurt, so he took on her mission to go save the woman that he later discovered was his mom. Uh, and then after saving her, uh, this man who was his grandmother's slave protector person, um, Katapa, who's the coolest person in the whole movie, said like, hey, you need to know the story of the past. And so this is the story of the past. This is a journey to the past from Anastasia. Heart, don't fail me now. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. That was cool. That was the best performance moment of the, like, both of those actors just crushed it there. Yeah. <laughs> Showing up to not suffer no fools. Yeah. Davey. Pennin pinnal yaru arubar subagar. Katapa! <laughs> wow, okay. Just kill them. I'm confused. I thought she was on... I don't know what side people are on in this. Well, because she Flashback. saved the baby, right? So this definitely goes wrong. Raja Tandiram. It's a little bit conniving. You can call it state crap, but it's, it's pretty conniving. In the Ariasana Tirkagawe, Piran, the Yen Arasan. Fair. I think that that is a good way to do it. But it also leads to people getting murdered. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, this is the generation before. Oh, okay, this isn't Bahubali as a baby. This oh, is like... yeah, I was like, I'm confused. Okay, okay. <clears throat> that makes more sense now. So this is Bahubali's dad yes. and the current king. Yes. Interesting. Gotcha. So he went over the people. Well, I don't know. He's got his own food at home, and he's like, you know what? I want your food. <laughs> he has a special sword stepper? That's cool. Why not? Wait, does he also play his dad? I, well, it would make sense. He has to look exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Yeah. All right, Luke Skywalker, let's go. <laughs> Ladies love him. Men <laughs> want to be him. Yes. Cool. Rad. <laughs> He's like, wait, what the fuck? No. The 
They showed him beat the arrows, but can he beat the debate club? Our Gallic Sarisamamaga Varam Thunder and the Parameshwaran Yenne Sodikira Talame Amateur Aditha Kata Sodane Inum Kadinamaga. So it doesn't matter that one of them isn't her son? I think that's cool. Like yeah. she really doesn't see them as different. Yeah. Rajamada, Sagi then Kaulari Kundri, Nam Porak Singal Tridich and Rutan. Eleven Sergalic Chedi and Pungal. Katia, Butia, Gurmiana de Pine Pertala. It's a good line. Well, that's one way to draw attention to yourself. Yeah. In Tambigal Yellow Kumpo the Monarch. And that's one way not to get stabbed. Buy everyone drinks. Feels like there could have been a more economical way to do that, but yeah. yeah. It's gonna be a lot wasted. Yeah, it's fun though. And a lot of people wasted. What the fuck? That is one way to start a show. <laughs> yeah. The dizzy drizzle of my beauty. There's definitely some weird translation stuff here. <laughs> or it's just a great lyric. How long do you think they were tied up in that rope sack for waiting for the show to start? You know. That's a weird five to places, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is how, this is like one of my worst nightmares. That I'm going to go to a show and end up in it somehow and not <laughs> know what my lines are or yeah, what the dancers yeah, yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, Just have to improv the whole thing. yeah, yeah. yeah. But that the expectation will be that I will be part of it. And I'm yeah. like, I don't, I just want to sit in the audience and watch. I don't want to have to go on stage. Locking two rabbits, did he sculpt my bosom? Don't know what that means. Sorry, ladies. Back to work. <gasps> What was your plan? I don't know what you expected. He's like, fuck, I got lost. <laughs> yes! This is my chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. I don't know how he found them. I have, I have legitimately no idea. Ah. Oh. Ow. This is what the Aiel crossing the Dragon Wall must have looked like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. What? Adanal Dan Nam Sail Partavendu. Non Vadimulikiri. Oh, they're in agreement. Okay. Cool. Why wouldn't you go behind the gate? Ilavar Sergal Irvarum Kudre Padayudan Kalaki at Talevanet Takuarkan. In the view got the Avergal Purin the Kunde. Wait, the Trident strategy is just flanking them on both sides? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Pavan Moody Pogre Kalaki at Talevan Yevan Kolkirano. Our K. Magirmadi in Ariasanam. Ungal Taina Tirkadameatra. All right, let's go. Hey, Yarde Mani came into Prabhu. Three lovers are Kuda and Lipriti at Torchana. Also, if that's the only way into the city, they should just let them, the army run themselves against the walls. Yeah. I, yeah, if you're if you're fighting a force four times your size, I don't know why you would engage them in an open field. 
Yeah. When they're when you know they're coming to you. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta say though, to the credit of the uh, costume designers, all the armor in this sh- movie looks incredible. Yeah. And there's so much of it that I'm like constantly surprised at the quality of it. Yeah. I didn't expect the flashback to be so long. <sighs> that breastplate. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Also rad. I feel like with the lives of an entire nation at risk, making it a competition for the princes is like the worst thing you could do. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I do love that him and his brother have, like, a, like, weirdly, like, good relationship, like, 60% of the time. And then this, like, weird, like, like, it's but so complicated to, like, between the two of them. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's really well done. His weapon is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk shit about someone's mom, dude. Kalatil Ratam Pine the Paddy of a new road here, Kevin. She's ruthless. Yeah. Poor Muras got at them. I would pull back first. I would ride back to your people before you start. <laughs> We're in the middle of a field. Okay, here we go. This isn't even the main story. But also, do we go back to the main story before the end of this movie? I'm waiting for the like twist of this flashback. Yeah. Because thus far it hasn't like provided information that we didn't kind of already have about, it's been super interesting and well done and like, it's well, no, cool, we had but... no idea how this the guy who was here uh, came to be on the throne. Sure, but we know that he is on the throne, right? And so I'm just yeah. curious. I'm just curious what the purpose of this is going to be. Yeah. What's the twist? Yeah. I love that that was sped up. All right, here we go. Have they darkened their bodies on purpose? I don't know. Because with the lines where like the clothing is, it's like lighter, like. <laughs> oh man. It's a lot of arrows. <clears throat> yeah. And it slows everybody down, right? There's more to w- walk over. Yep. It's a good opening volley. Do you think he stuffed the things with the tents to light them on fire? Maybe? I don't really understand what's going on. (laughs) That's so fucking cool. Wow, they would have to be fired at the exact same time, otherwise it would, like, rip that fabric apart. Military precision, baby! (laughs) Huh. Interesting. Fire arrows. Your favorite. This is a legitimate use for them, though. Yeah, yeah, if the fire stays lit that far. Oh, oh, yeah, fuck. That's terrifying. Yeah, very cool. Very fun idea. (laughs) 
<laughs> it didn't do very much though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a wall that a shield wall that long that is that stuck in place is less useful. You want to be able to like fill gaps when because inevitably. I think they have layers. I think there's a few people. Sure, but most most shield walls throughout history were like mobile units of like a smaller number. Yeah. But like they're they're gonna lose a numbers war here by a lot. Yeah. Did you just get rid of your sword? Oh, you no, just the he sheath. Threw the sheath at someone. Why not? Ooh, a little a little hand uh, axe handle on the side. See, this is so much more efficient than that big ball. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. the amount of energy you need to swing that thing to kill somebody. This guy's killed like four people. Oh, well, actually, you know what? The chain the chain makes it more useful. Yeah. It is very CGI, though. The retractable <laughs> chain, though, I, I genuinely don't know how that works. <laughs> <laughs> Just launched him back over. <laughs> oh. See, it looks like they're wearing makeup to make them darker. They might be. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. That they darkened the, the people who are the... People? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, look around the ears and stuff. Oh, no, no. I, I see it. I just... I don't know what it means. Like, it might be a historical thing that I'm just not aware of, so... Finish one of your them! All of them! I would love a top-down shot of what's happening right now. Yes, that would actually be very helpful. <laughs> what? I mean, it's not a bad <laughs> that strategy. <laughs> That's crazy. I love it. These shots are so well put together. Like they're really cool. Yeah. Visually. Yeah, the composition is really, like, specific. Yeah. Hey, you did the Legolas. <laughs> oh. Let's go Bahu Bali. So can they see what's going on? Apparently, yes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was rad. Uh, why don't you uh, hang out for a while? Grog, Grog, Grog. Why would you stop everything else to do this, though? Yeah. Do this on top of everything else. I guess it's for the movie moment. Ajax. <laughs> it's like Troy. Ah, fuck. <laughs> The fight's not over, y'all. Yeah. Chill out for five seconds, okay? With your symbols. Let's get to the end of the fight first. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. You better take that arrow and keep going. Let's go. On the morning of the villain on Silgiri, the Rigal Kirit, the Sanguri, the Kudit, the Arivik, the Bogiri. Rad. 
மரணத்தை தாண்டி என்னோடு வாழப் போவது யார் மீ டியூட் ஐம் ஆன் போர்ட் லெட்ஸ் ஃபைட் That dude is putting on his arm. own tourniquet yeah. so he can keep fighting. <laughs> Who needs a shield wheel wall? We got a people wall. And they still have a cavalry. Like that's not yeah. nothing. Though where the it all came from, I I don't know. If they could charge a little bit better in formation, they they could do more with the cavalry. But you know, th th this is fine. <laughs> He's got a little guy. <laughs> I still can't believe this. It's so cool. The whirlwind chariot is such a brilliant, fun, like crazy idea, and I dig it. Yeah. I wonder if there's historical precedent for it. I don't know. Sure. That's great. Why not? Oh. It still only counts as one. That's why they're like, this, the animals in this are CGI, we promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What an incredible shot! That was... That might be the best shot of the whole movie. That was very silly. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> yes! I love that every time any character stamps their feet, even the horse, the weapon a weapon pops flies up, up in here. I know, yeah, yeah. Let's go, Bahu. How can they see that? Movie magic. Oh. I love that it's like the class project where the guy doesn't do any of the work but then shows up at the last minute and takes credit. Yeah, 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 100%. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a whole other movie inside of this movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, this movie's almost over. How did you see that? Arasinakana Tagadi, yet any Yedrikali Kundan in Badalla, than Makal yet any Pere Kapatunan in Badadan. I would argue in human history that's not the case, but. Well, we can only try and do better, I guess. Adidan would have beaten a cum Marasinukum will a bear party. I agree with her though. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Yeah, the people seem on board with him too. Like, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. This is an argument I would make a little bit less public. Yeah. It's a great shot. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there, okay, we get the tie-in. Brother. That's a great fucking line. Magabali Budigal Kutta Patar. Nanta. What? Huh. 
It's like actually a two-parter. I thought it was like a sequel. I didn't realize yeah. that like there is absolutely no resolution. <laughs> is there like anything in the credits here? Yeah, there is. Okay. Okay. Um, interesting. This seems like something that they would have just like filmed all, all at the same time, though. Probably. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, but at already two and a half hours, just for part one. Yeah. It's yeah, hard yeah. to. Um, yeah, I think what's so interesting about this is I it feels like a prototype for what RRR ended up being. Yeah, it really does. You can see um, what was um, improved on um, and like what the lessons learned were. Yeah, I think the style is still so strong. And mm -hmm. I think that you can see, and, and I think also like the uh, RRR just has a larger budget than this does. It, totally. But yeah. I also think that, um, I think what RRR does that is that made it so successful internationally is that the relationships between the characters were so well defined. Yeah. And I think that while this has a lot of the like stylistic things that I loved about RRR and, and the battle scenes are really fun and huge and the, the world is so expansive and interesting to dive into, I was kind of missing a central relationship that I was really invested in. Yes. Because the relationship between Bakubahi and Avantika is it's fucking weird. Yeah, and I didn't like how they began it. Yeah. I like it after that point. I think that like the I do not. I think the two of them have chemistry together. They have on chemistry screen. together, but the whole like trope of like woman meets man and is no longer woman warrior, she's weak flower, wants to look pretty is just I can't like <laughs> Yeah, and it was so disappointing cuz her introduction was so awesome. Yeah. And yeah. the the weirdness of him taking her clothes off to to show her that she's beautiful. Yeah. Like, it just felt like that song. I, I hate it. It's, I think it's Jonas Brothers. That's like, you don't know you're beautiful. One Direction. If only. If, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, I, I don't like the trope of that. And so I was disappointed. I was so on board with the movie. Like, I was 100% in until yeah. that scene. He's like, look what I see in you. You're mm -hmm. so pretty. And I thought that they had a better, like, I, him climbing up the mountain and seeing her as she sung him up the mountain, the promise of her was so well done. Yeah. And like that sequence was so cool. Yeah. That to follow it up with this mute cute that's not cute and is really kind of creepy. No, he literally like trims her like a Christmas tree into what his vision is of her. Because it has nothing to do with who she is. No. And like, I think it would have been more, I, I, I think I would have been more invested in the film if he had approached her based on what, like he examines her from afar because he's trying to figure out what this culture is. And then he approached her, he, he, like his realization was that she wasn't this like angel character. Yeah. That she's a real person and treated her that way would have been nice. Much better. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Because then from then on, from then to the end of the like present time sequence, yeah. I felt caught up in like, ah, I don't know if I really like this character. I don't yeah. really know. I, I don't really care about this relationship. Oh, 100%. And then the flashback is incredible. Like, the yeah. entirety of the flashback, the story of the flashback, much like RRR, the story of the flashback is more emotionally resonant, has more character relationships that I cared about. Yeah. Like, the story of the two brothers, I was highly invested in. Yeah, absolutely. And so I just, I think that the strength that, I think that, I, I don't want to speak for Raj Muli, the director. Um, mm hmm but the 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 strength of character relationships that I think he tells in RRR, that the beginnings of it are here, but I don't think it works as well. Yeah. And, and honestly, like I that scene really just took me out of the movie in a in a way that I was um, not prepared for. Yeah, me too. Because other than that scene, I actually really like this. Yeah, I mean, I don't like how he treats her afterwards and how that like completely changes her character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but apart from that, yeah, like the the creativity in it is really cool. Um, the I think the pacing, like it is, it was weird to have the movie within the movie, but there is a lot to tell here, and so I think considering that, like the pacing was pretty good, um, and I think that actually the um, sound design helped move it forward. Like there was like always this like. Almost like the ball is rolling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of un undertones throughout the whole movie. The score um, played a big part in that too. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that was really well done. Um, obviously, the CGI in this doesn't look quite as good as an RRR. That has a yeah. bigger budget. But like, that's fine. You know, yeah. I, I can like have a good chuckle, but like, it doesn't like ruin it for me. I don't really care about like 
bad special effects. <laughs> like Yeah, it's more something I notice, but it doesn't affect my enjoyment. Like I, I would rather a story be told well with bad special effects than be mm-hmm. told amazingly with good or be told poorly with great special effects. Yeah. Like the special effects don't really matter to me, but there were some shots in this. It was just kinda like Yeah, I was like, oh, oh my one, god. That one didn't quite the work. The body's flying. Well and, and and like I understand the idea of having the ball on the chain um, mace thing, but the geography of it You can't it, question it at all. You, yeah, the you can't se- think about oh, it. Oh no no, I'm not even talking about that. Like I'll oh. buy into it. But there were times when like there's one where he's retracting it and you can clearly see the CGI ball moving in the frame, mm-hmm. and there are bodies flying, but yeah. nothing is touching. No, yeah, nothing's properly. making contact with one that, another. I noticed that exact moment you're um, talking about as well. And so there, like, there were some little things like that, but I, that that I'm not that's not going to ruin a movie for me, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Um, especially since it's older now, right? Like this isn't if if this came out this year, I would be a little bit more like eh, we could have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. but um, no, I, I liked it. I just I yeah, it's um, it's not as strong a film as RRR. Mm-hmm. I wish I'd seen it first. Fair. Because it's kind of like, oh, yeah, this is like, this RRR is... RRR is so S-tier. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's my favorite movie of the year. Yeah, right? it's like, hard to, like, it's hard to meet that expectation. Yeah, I also think the the performances here are also just, again, really strong. I yeah. love the guy who plays Katapa. Uh, is that... Katapa, yeah, yeah, I think is... I think his performance is, he's unreal. I think the, um, the, the qu- queen... Mm-hmm. In the flashbacks, um, when she, when she was at the beginning of the movie, I was like, "Oh, that's it, she's done." Yeah, um, I'm really glad that we got to see more of her because she's badass. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah. Um, and, but but everyone, even like uh, the uh, Bala Bala and his dad, I think both of those performances are are really interesting. And I, I one thing I love about the flashback here is that the story that it is telling takes Bala from being a it it really is the like sliding s- s- slope. Of mm-hmm. he's not a bad guy at the beginning yeah. of the flashback. He's just a, he's a little bit more tenacious and a little bit more aggressive than his brother. And in being slighted out of being king, he like leans into his worst impulses. Yeah. And so rather than portraying him as an evil child and as an evil teenager and as an evil adult who became an evil king, yeah. they're portraying him as a normal child, a normal teenager, a slightly more aggressive version of the same person that Bahu is, and then. At, at, in this slight, in this moment where he does not get the thing he wants, rather than be humbled by it, he leans into his worst um, tendencies and yeah. becomes a worse person and therefore becomes a bad king. And, and who knows? There might even be further, because we have a whole other movie to see, we might see that there's further for that journey for him to go to get to this point where he's cheering for torture of a woman and, and you know, this really awful person that we meet in the first half of the film. Yeah. But, but I appreciated that they set him up to be... RRR had its villains born a villain right but RRR had its villains be comically not comically evil but like so evil because they were representing the British Empire which was basically comic like so evil that it almost is comical yeah it's like hard to believe how yes. awful it was yeah yeah it, it, it betrays the imagination to think that there were humans that got off on such suffering right yeah but in this movie, because there's no, like, British Empire, there's no outsiders, it's all insiders of this kingdom, I feel like they've done a better job portraying their villains as relatable, real people in this. Yeah. And the path that got them to be these characters that are so evil that you immediately are like, oh, I'm excited to watch that person die. The path that gets in there is so relatable and so yeah. real that the I, I feel like this movie has stronger villains mm-hmm. than RRR does. Yeah, yeah, I will agree with that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm kind of I'm kind of hoping for like some kind of like redemption. Not 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 in that I think that they can be redeemed for what they've done to the queen for twenty five years. No, but, but like see the error of their ways yeah. kind of thing. Like, ah, uh, you know what? I fucked up. That was my bad. Um, maybe not for the grandfather, but at least for his brother. Um yeah. some sort some sort of reconciliatory moment when Baku takes over again. I think would be nice. I almost feel bad for that guy's son that they they killed because like yeah, it's kind of not his fault that his dad is a like betraying asshole. He just got raised poorly, you know. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm excited to watch part two though. Yeah, I, me the, too. The the tease like that is an incredible tease at the end of this movie. Yeah, because it doesn't make any sense based on the previous information that we have about that character. Yeah, like that K- Katapa would attack the throne. It, it just, it doesn't, like, how does, how do we get there? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's our cliffhanger. 
I will say the the one thing that I that I think the thing about this movie, other than the Avantika um, Baku relationship, mm-hmm. which I think is like the biggest weakness of the movie. I think the second one is that the flashback is more interesting than the present story. Because nobody yeah. in the present story knows who any... Like, they're all, like... It, it's that, like, wide-eyed, like, wait, who are you? What am I? What are we doing? Why does this matter? Yeah. The flashback storyline is so... Everyone is so connected to one another. Yeah. That it's, like... I was like, I don't need to go back to the present. I'm more interested here than I am with what's going on in the present. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping part two will, like, swing that the other way, though. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We shall see. Yeah. Structurally, really interesting. I, I'm I'm curious once we see the whole thing what we think of it. Yeah. Is part two also two and a half hours? Uh I would assume it would it's probably gonna be hefty. Um It's longer. Part two is almost three hours. Damn. Yeah. Okie dokie. Buckle Interesting. up. Next month's going to be a long one. We'll be back for it. Uh, that'll be the second Saturday of February. Yeah. That'll be the like 12th or something. I don't know. Uh, the second Saturday. We'll be back with that. Uh, the movie next Saturday is going to be American History X. That was a uh, commissioned reaction. Yeah. Uh, so we're excited to watch that and see Edward Norton. I think it's Edward Norton. There's, there's an actor in it. There's probably more than one. Uh, probably. Uh, and as always, uh, we're going to have some Attack on Titans about the week. Uh, and we're starting on The Expanse. So if you missed mm. episode one this past week, go watch that reaction uh, and watch The Expanse with us. It's a fun sci-fi film. Uh, and uh, It's a show. Oh, Monday. This Monday. It's a show. You're right. Mm. This Monday, the first episode of Last of Us. Uh, our reaction will be up at 6 p.m. Eastern on Monday. So definitely come back for that. I'm excited to see Daddy Pedro Yes. Uh, be uh, uh, Lone Wolf and Cub once more uh, in another series. Our favorite trope. Our favorite trope, uh, and clearly his, because he keeps doing series in that vein. True, yeah. If you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below, because the algorithm god is hungry. We must feed her. Mm -hmm. Uh, The algorithm goddess for this episode is... Uh, Avantika, because... Avantika. She she hurt her leg, I guess. She's probably pretty hungry. I was going to say the minnows that kept eating her hand. (laughs) If you want to follow us around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clara's Polaris. And as always, y'all, do something nerdy tonight. Bye. Bye.